Hello YouTube, YouTube here with another package and pickups video. Just a few bits today, but some good stuff nonetheless. Uh, first up, some local pickups down in CEX. Can't go wrong because seem to be you know the only ones doing PS2 at the moment. So I picked up a few bits. Oh, and actually no, I've well I say PS2, but there's a few Xbox stuff in there. But um, yeah, three games for 320, so not too bad. Of course, there was the obligatory kind of cheapy sports game, but at 20p, can't go too wrong, I suppose. Completion, fine, but nothing to note, really. Oh, other than the fact that it doesn't, um, it doesn't play on the Xbox 360, so if you want to play Madden 2003, you need an original Xbox. Um, next up, then, we have... Uh, 13, I was going to call it X3, but no, 13. Um, I, I've i always thought this looked like an interesting game. I know my friends have played it and, and said it's kind of an interesting game. Not necessarily a good game, an interesting game. And I pl plugged it on, this one is compatible with the 360. And it has a distinct visual style, that's for sure. Kind of like an interactive, you know, comic strip or graphic novel, whatever you want to call it. And it seemed to be pretty good. And yet at the same stage, I wasn't very compelled to keep playing. I got stuck after a couple of levels and I basically just passed it off onto another title. So I'm not too sure whether well, that just says that I tend to be fickle with my gaming or the game itself um, is kind of average more than anything. But however, at 150, it was it was worth it. And it was actually in pretty good condition. I mean, we grind when you get the CEX junky stickers off, but they're not too bad to come off. And then finally, a game actually for the PlayStation 2. <laughs> I typically see, you know, you more likely to see PlayStation 2 games there than Xbox, so I was, I kind of forgot that they were Xbox games I picked up, because I know they had this on the PlayStation 2 as well for the same price, so I decided, eh, why not try out the Xbox? But anyway, here we have... Um, is it Soul Calibur 2? Yeah, it's 2 on the PlayStation 2. I haven't played this yet, but I've played the, the GameCube version, and I'm not much into fighters, but it seemed like a good game. Sadly, though, I didn't realize at the time it doesn't. It didn't have its manual. They can never tell in CEX, or at least in CEX in Ireland, until you've bought the games, you know, whether or not they have a manual. And you could go up, I suppose, and ask, does this have a manual? And But there's, you know, it can be quite a queue, and... It'd take quite a while, so I tend not to bother. Certainly not at 150. I'm, I'm not too pushed, I suppose. But instead, I had some sort of bare cheeked lady. Um, seems to be some sort of promo for an online service. And you will not lose, though, must be their side. Do not lose the manual. Well, they did. The complete official guide to Soul Calibur 2. 15 um, euros. Hmm. Guides are dear. I was in game just this week and pricing some of them and were fairly dear. And you will not lose it, Soul Calibur 2. So, presume me, an advert for the guide. A very male advert for the guide. <laughs> you have to wonder what these um, these female fighters entering the combat arena in, in that type of attire doesn't seem all that sensible. And whatever. Next up was um, some more retro stuff. A couple of games for the Master System. And these actually came from the same seller. I picked up two. I picked up one. I picked up this one underneath Ghostbusters. I'll get to that in a minute. And after I bought that, I seen he was doing this one for like 99 pence. And it would be an extra quid to get it delivered. So I said, whatever. I mean, it may as well. I mean, it's complete. I didn't have it, so why not? At 199 you can't go wrong on a, on a Master System game. And there we have, again, it was in good condition as well. And it arrived very, very fast. I got a bit worried when he said, um, you know, please allow up to a month for a delivery. And I was thinking, holy hell, where the hell's it coming from? It should have been coming from the UK. So, yeah. The sun, or it seems that there's a bit of sun fading on the spine, which is a bit disappointing. But, as I said, it was only 99p with reduced shipping because I bought this. And it is, of course... Ghostbusters! Uh, there's no synthesized audio for that term actually in the Master System one. 
but this I think is an American release and the reason why is because I have not got the cartridge but I will be back with the cartridge to show you why so if I was professional I'd do probably a proper edit there but here we are with the cartridge and as you can see it's got a blue label a little bit of um, fade on the edge but not too bad now as anyone would you know who who's familiar with the math system will know and oh this is a bad example <laughs> I'm gonna show Chuck Rock as an example but it's got a white label most Master System games have got like um, a red kind of check label or a maroon I'm not too sure what the exact color a few third parties like Chuck Rock god damn it have white labels or a few other colors but in America near the end of the system's uh, life over there they re-released games with a blue label and I think there was might have been a couple I think Alex Kidd and Shinobi World was only released with blue label and in Ghostbusters was one of the late re-releases and I, I'm not entirely sure this is the re-release version so if anyone can tell me whether or not it is that'd be great because I'm not really you know sure what to look for having not picked one up before I know the back is got um 1987 Sega of America, which I thought seemed a bit new, um, but it has the kind of later, uh, you know, brighter box art, and it's got the the game logo on the side instead of having the the typical, f you know, simple font spine. And I'll just get the manual out. And then in the back of the manual, it has 1990 Sega of America. So, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's the re-release version then. Either way, it, was, um, it wasn't too much. It was, I think it was either 8 quid or 9 quid for this and then a, a couple of quid shipping. But of course, I got the reduced shipping then in the end. So I figured, if it was the re-release... Great, that's something a bit different because I, I don't have any, you know, American blue labels. And it's certainly an American release because the full English, you know, back of the box text. So it's definitely an American blue label anyway. So I figured, ah, that'll be pretty, you know, interesting to have in a collection. And I didn't have a complete copy of Ghostbusters. Because keeping on the team, I have Ghostbusters, the European release. But I do not have the manual. And here's, <laughs> and there's the ty typical um, grid color. So you can see, obviously, they're totally different. Um, but as I said, I didn't have a manual for this one. I picked it up. And normally, I try to steer clear of games without manuals. But this was in a charity shop, and I was one euro. And I figured I never, ever see Master System stuff in the wild, so to speak. So at a euro, I was you know, going to pick it up, if not unless it was a spare box. And as I said, I didn't have it. So that, that's kind of, at least there's something off a kind of a, a complete version now. And in the same charity shop, they had another Mass System game. You know, like, you wait years and years and years and then two come along at once, literally the same day. So that's Special Criminal Investigation, again another quid, um, or a euro. This was in good condition. Not a not a mark on it type of thing, and thankfully this one is complete. Pretty they wrote Tito on the <laughs> on the the cover of the manual, but it's got the the Sega catalog poster and everything. And other than that, you know, it's pretty good condition. So two quid for two Mass System games, not bad at all. And an American re-release, I think maybe. Someone could let me know, perhaps. And another Mass System game for £2 sterling this time. So that's that's oh, light shining in the way. Very unprofessional this time round. <laughs> Someday we'll get proper editing, but not today. So, not too bad, given that that was just over... That's probably €15 Euros for the loss. And then another 3 quid for 3 more games. And finally, just one other thing that arrived in during the week that was a little bit different. I mentioned it on the Sega Apid forums, but I didn't put up any pictures or anything. And it's um, a soft uh, cartridge holder for um, the Sega systems, because it was 
it's basically compatible with uh, the mass system and the Mega Drive even though it's in the Mega Drive uh, box cover it's by Nubby and this was a five pound buy it now and I I left it like slightly sitting out because it's it, it suppose uh, it seems to be brand new when I had a look at it earlier but it's kind of like fusty so I was trying to let the air kind of get out of it I find that's the hardest thing when you buy stuff on eBay. If 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 an item has got, say, a bit of grime or whatever on the box, you can typically get get it off. You can get stickers off, but but fuss is a pain to get out of items. And here we have it out of the the bag itself. I didn't or the box. I didn't fancy trying to get it out of the the box on camera one handed. It's got a reasonable Sega logo. I remember seeing this in a Me Machines booklet I had, um, when I was a kid. Oh, I should have taken the whole thing out because um, I can't. I can't do the whole thing on a camera. But I remember seeing it in a Me Machines booklet uh, when I was younger and thinking it looked pretty interesting way to store my games because I only had a few games at the time. So I'll try and get it all out and take a final shot. So there we have it, kind of, sort of unfolded. It's not fully unfolded. Um, it would have obviously more structure if I put games into it, but I want to put it back into its box for the time being, so I don't want to properly take it out. Um, it's got a nice little handle, I suppose, to kind of carry your game so you could swing it as you're going down the street to your friend's house with your, your Sega Mega Drive cartridges to play some Street to Rage. Anyway, that'll be that for um, this week's packages and pickups. Hope you enjoyed it, despite the uh, lack of professionalism at times. And thanks for watching as always, and until next time, keep gaming!